Oh, excess shop and who's what's going on at your boy on YouTube and welcome back to the number one podcast in <laughs> South Africa. My name is Mike, guys. It's so good to be back. Um, last time we had a shot at episode was last year. Yeah, are you, are, you saying, are you saying that yeah. was a joke where you just say no, that that no, 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 no. Oh, you, you used my daddy has a problem with jokes about last year. Yeah, so, so last time I took a shit was last year. Oh, okay, I it's think been, it's, it's been 19 yeah, years. Yeah, I was gonna say, I think you I'm should get a doctor. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think you're due for a consultation. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, guys, compliments to the new year, guys. It's so good to be back. My name is Mike, is gonna be consistent, bigger, better, and more, you know, educational, entertaining, and inspiring. I oh, feel yeah. that. This is the three pillars of my is Mike. Oh, <laughs> we found out just like you right now. <laughs> yeah, if you guys can see, we're in a different uh, situation with my house right now Te- because temporarily. Yeah, M Studios yeah. is currently being renovated. Shout out to them for letting us shoot there, though. Like we told you guys before, uh, we really appreciate your guys' comments, your guys' likes, any form of engagement. So if you guys can give me any form of engagement right now. Look, my title will come to a fire while you do that in One, two, <laughs> three. Is this on the premiere? It's four, on the premiere. Five. And I just I just want to say because the, we we recorded the same day when the, the previous episode dropped. Yeah, yeah. I thought, you know what's crazy? Yeah. So you know what's crazy, guys? Uh-huh. To us. I'm a fan. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know when everybody's saying, yo, we're waiting for an episode, we're waiting yeah. for an episode. I'm also waiting for an episode. <laughs> nah, I get I get that. I hear you. I nah, I enjoy. I thoroughly enjoyed today's one. Hey? Yeah. I, it, it was it was entertaining and also also very informative because there are definitely some things we need to let go of for sure. But for tradition, guys, before we get started, we need to read the top comments from today's episode, <laughs> which is a bit unfair because <laughs> eleven hours ago, it's a bit unfair. But it's the last one, man. Uh, Wavy Terry says these gents are such well-spoken and educated gents. That's why I love this podcast. We're not just listening to balls. <laughs> balls. The balls <laughs> killed me. <laughs> what does that mean? Yo, <laughs> small numbers, Ali, guys. Yeah. And then we've got Dineo. Dineo says I actually like myself. Someone said that on the podcast. Okay. Yeah. Right. I think I, we know who it is. Yeah. No. 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 I actually, actually like. I actually like myself. Oh, me, I like myself. <laughs> so you know, my problem is, ne? I like myself. And <laughs> but, but, but you know, it's crazy. It's it's a it's a nice segue to the topic today. Yeah. yeah. Because I think I think the podcast is actually YouTube. That was YouTube since since Varsity mm-hmm. has has given a physical, almost tangible way to reflect. So yeah, you have you have an opportunity to actually. Which workshop do you come from? <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, whatever you guys no, are doing no, no, no. at at, at, at Matari's job, right? Whoever yeah. is dealing with HR and planning we workshops, you know, come and say I appreciate Matari. you. Yeah, come on, so come and watch in the podcast. Your best friend, my best friend, <laughs> <laughs> and she goes, bro, Matari is so smart, but every time he tries to say an ounce of anything intellectual, you and Lucas make a joke. Yeah. Apparently, apparently we'll shut you down. You yeah. do? Okay. You, you, you yeah, know, I'm you sorry, know the thing is, I, I'm I, holding you back and I'm sorry. Let me let me tell you where I come from. For for, for me, the podcast is very fun. Yeah. Yeah. And it, it, it actually, this I need to start off this way. Mm-hmm. The previous episode, today's yeah. episode, we spoke about a very important thing at the at the end, closer to the end, about mental health and thing. I may have came off a bit ignorant. Okay. About I trying to Tato said Tato specifically said Matari doesn't even know what therapy is. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Yeah. I, have, I haven't watched the whole episode. Is it? I yeah. watched it twice. <laughs> I've been busy. I'm in love. Yeah, but it's it's I, I I really I really appreciate the the ability to actually look back and say this is how Matari thinks and this is how you should adjust and where you need to work on things and this yeah. is how he has grown since. So I'm I'm a genuine friend. I'm very and I'm very proud of what we're doing. By the way, so <laughs> shout out. <laughs> I, uh, Let me tell you, guys, these guys are so guest. <laughs> we got a compliment from one of our boys today. It was Tron. Let me actually read you guys what Tron Yo, said. Oh, yeah, no, shout out. That's hey, yo, he said a lot of things, and I love like, everything he said. That's why these guys are so happy. Was it on Boa Booty? Yeah, 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 was it? Yeah, it was that one. So, yeah, Tato in groups. Damn. What? You're the group guy. No, no, no. Okay. I'm struggling to adjust this <laughs> to, to. So Tron goes, y'all cooking heavy on these podcasts. La Pia Straight, which means you're cooking. Shishabo. Mohoru Mondays. Taco Tuesdays. He said, nah, they're in the bright area right now. Buffy's. Buffy said, nah. Yo, yo, yo. If you're going to get friends, then get friends that get do friends that. Like this. But hey, how about you guys before we hop into the topic? What's the, what's the topic today, Lucas? Uh, the topic today is the importance of self-discovery the, the, it and sounds... personal growth. Yeah, yeah. For young adulthood. I told you guys, entertaining, educational. And, and informative. Inspiring. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Inspiring. that one. Yeah, we knew that. Yeah, man, it definitely sounds like a topic Lucas would come up with. Why? <laughs> I don't know. Which guy am I? Uh, yeah, that, that guy. guy. <laughs> <laughs> but how have you guys been? Man? Happy New Year. How was the house? Hey, the hey, hey, you go first. Uh, what, did, what did you guys do for New Year's? For New Year's? Well, you're not with us. 
I yeah, we were, you are with us. I know, but, uh, you, but I want your Fundain. perspective. Oh, Ooh, we're Fundain, hey, having, shout out, having shout the time out, of our out, lives. Shout out, shout out. Oh, we even got a picture. If you guys want a banging you know, picture, a banging picture. I think Snap I was, it on Davies. <laughs> <laughs> that's one of my favorite pictures of us yeah, out, out now. Yeah, shout out. Yeah, no, no, we had a great time. So the new year, I think it's crazy because it goes back to that thing I was that that discussion that I had when that Una episode about yeah. like not being aware of time because every day just feels like a new day. Like it just feels. Every I don't. Day is a new day. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Technically speaking. No, I don't look at it in the perspective. It's a new year. It's a new oh, day. Oh yeah, like yeah. It's not a new month. It's a new day. Oh, so you don't have the. It's a new year. Let's tackle the new year. Energy. No. You're just okay. It's a, it's new, a new day. Let's tackle the new day. That's crazy. One step at a time, kind of guy. That's crazy. Also, like our New Year's was so crazy to plan. First of all, I was going to host a house party right here at, at my crib. Yeah. yeah. Uh, did not work because three niggas pulled out. And then Lucas came up with it. He's like, bro, guys, let's go to Fontaine. Mind you, tickets have been sold out. Yeah. We have no tickets. Lucas like, yo, Tata, relax. Like, my plug got a plug. Who's got a plug? <laughs> <laughs> Who's the main plug? <laughs> and his plug had a plug. Who has a plug? Who has the main plug? <laughs> and we got there. <laughs> and we got there. Uh, he got some tickets. I got some tickets from my cousin, Kelso. Shout, nah, shout, shout out, out shout plug. out, shout I out. I love shout my plug. Mm. Yeah. Is it? Nah. Oh, yeah, a lot. <laughs> yeah. I got love more than you love me. Hey, man. I'm, not, I'm just I gotta, saying. I got it's a different type of love. <laughs> I'm not, it's the type that I've been experiencing hey, with somebody I'm, else. I'm not going to say a lot, but I love my plug. Get enough Alexa Julie, you know? I'll join I'll join I'll join Hey, you sound like You sound left out This guy Oh <laughs> yeah. That's, you why, you, that's why you own yeah. You yeah. wanna yeah. say yeah. No, no, I, I do not feel left out At all that's Really good. I might Do you think Do you think you'll ever find love Yeah, I'm pretty There's too many people For me not to find love and you look the way you look, and you are the way you are. And I look, did you see the high cut? Oh, by the way, shout out to Kuju. He said he watches the podcast. Oh, <laughs> shout out, Kuju. That's, our, that's our barber. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, the best in the business. Basically, the past couple of weeks we've been together has been very nice. Um, December, we rocked hard. We were the first two guys, we were too excited for the first two weeks because <laughs> we were rocking together. We did yeah. too much. We Yo, from, two the two from, the six, from the 16th, because yeah. on the 16th, uh, Matladi and I, well, more Matladi. Yeah. It was Matladi's initiative to throw a party. Annual views. For banger. the annual views. That's yeah. what the, the name of the party was called. Yeah. Just banger. called all our friends and had a banger. banger. Yeah. Bright day. It was yeah. amazing. Everybody was yeah, there. I, I think we need to speak about the hosting. That shit was impeccable. Yo, <laughs> yo, yo, <laughs> people, let me tell yeah. you, people walked in eh, and the meat was already on the grill. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It was bright. That's what I'm saying. And I was the first guest. Obviously, if you guys know me, I'm always <laughs> ready. You're always the first my, guest. Tato does not, Tato does not sleep the day before we have to link up. Yeah, yeah so I'm sure. I love my friends more than they love me. <laughs> damn, <Whoa>. damn. <laughs> Are you, that's fine. That's Is that how we make you feel? I love you. No, no, I a you. lot. <laughs> like a lot. Anyway, more than, the topic. <laughs> how, how, hey, how am I doing? Yeah, yeah we how are you doing? Who gives a damn how you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? I'm, I'm, what, do you, what do you guys want? The long version or the short version? The, long, the, long the longest. Version. Why can't Lucas wants a podcast to be an, sorry. an hour? Lucas wants the podcast to be an hour. So give us the longest version. Oh, more. Give, give a fun about that. So, you know what's crazy? I think I'm in a good space, gentlemen. Mm. Yes. Yeah, I think work is aight. Relationships are somewhat aight. Mm. But I think I'm more than anything, I'm very excited for the year. New I talking stages? Eh? Nah, current talking stages. Okay. But yeah, I don't, why did you bring that up? Because you, you, you always talk about talking stages. But I'm saying, I, think, I think the year is very exciting. I think we're growing older. Mm -hmm. We have a lot more knowledge. We, we, we know what we want. I think, I think we're getting closer to what you want. And this, this actually stems into the conversation we're about to have. Self-discover. 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 So I'm, I'm very happy. I'm very excited. There's, there's, there's a lot of opportunity. One thing I want to do, I want to hang out with my friends a little bit more this year. Yeah, because yeah. you were a ghost last year. Yeah, I, I've neglected some of the things I should be doing. Yeah. Yeah. I live with him and I feel neglected. Mm. Yeah, that, must, that must be crazy. Yeah, but anyway, that's on the cards. Yeah. Excited. Life is good. It's calm. I don't know if you want to discuss that because I want to discuss One of these days well. we need... I want to do current affairs. <laughs> not not, not yeah. necessarily current affairs, but I think, I think it's such a big problem what we're going through that everybody should be aware. And I think... As much as this is fun and stuff, we have some responsibility to give your opinion on it. So we at least yeah. get the discussion going. But anyway, besides besides SCOM, I'm doing watch, footy watch, work. Watch until the end of the podcast <laughs> to get our, our perspective well, on it. You know what's crazy? There was, actually a current affairs. there was actually a comment in the... And I'm going to keep doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Only one person knows. Yeah. Yeah. But Tato should stop telling us to wait till the end of the podcast for okay. topics we want to hear yeah, actually, about. Actually, I'd be very interested in what you guys think of the, no, the current no, we'll, state of affairs. At that. the end. At the end. Last 10 minutes, we'll do it. Yeah. Hey, don't forget to like the video right now. <laughs> we'll give you 10 seconds. <laughs> One, three, four, five, six, nine, nine, ten. I'm good also, guys. Like I'm actually in a good place too. Yeah. Like uh, I'm shout out. in a happy relationship. 
Mm. Yeah, we are you in a relationship with the the bar. These guys know they mustn't do this. I don't know. Well, I'm talking on behalf of everybody. I don't care on behalf of them. <laughs> you know why? I don't know why you so wet up. <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, I'm in a relationship is very it's very nice. It's very it's peaceful. You know in life when you I was going through a lot last year. Yeah. yeah. And I never knew what I wanted to do. Mm-hmm. Where I wanted to be placed. So I was all over the place. Yeah. yeah. I was in this friendship group, that friendship group, this club, that club. Guys, the past like since this year started, I've been just working, planning, strategizing coming up with crazy concepts and just focusing on work on my relationship. And I realized that that's who I am. Yeah. Yeah. Last year I was living, I was just in like, I was in pain, the, obviously the breakup and everything. Yeah. And I was just all over the place. But now I'm actually like, you know, I'm good. Like I'm happy with my relationship. Yeah. I love being alone. Back to exercising. This is week two of exercising. Shut up. Oh, uh, that's dope. Bunch of traveling, plan for the year, going to Durban in two days for eight days. Yeah. Botswana in mid-fair. Botswana again. You went to Botswana? Oh, yeah, no, why didn't you tell us? <laughs> <laughs> when did you go to Botswana? Yeah. Why did you tell us you're going to Botswana? No, when like, are we going to Botswana? I'm still planning it. When are oh. we going? Uh, mid feb <laughs> 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 And then also 4th of March. I'm also going to Cape Town on my birthday, like on the 10th, but it's like a brand deal. It's great yeah. to be finding out now. <laughs> <laughs> it's all work though, bro. I don't know what you're doing at work. No, but you can't, you can't leave us for your birthday. We've, we've been doing a Maza every year for the past five That's years. So you got us used yeah, to that. And Vela, like the brand deal is actually like, like a, it's like a festival. Oh, what's the festival? Oh, you can't say I it. I can't say it. You can't say it. Oh, okay. You can't say yeah. it. What is it? Stay tuned to find out. You don't, you don't know it. I don't know it. Okay, sure. It's yeah. new. But yeah, life is good. Life is good. I'm very happy. Lucas? No, no, no. I'm, I'm also very happy. I'm waiting for school to start so I can yes, start with yes. this research. Yeah. But luckily, guys, I passed everything, which is great. Now I don't have to do what modules. Like this thing she well, sometimes I do that. <laughs> Turn it off. <laughs> Turn it off. Turn it off. I appreciate this. Oh, shit. Thank you. So I'm waiting. What is the distinction? Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> you can't help it. Eh? <laughs> but yeah, so I'm done with modules. I never want to write an exam in my life. Oh, Those it's great. So it's just research. Just research. Oh, yeah. yeah. So just research. But uh, it might be a, a while. But I'm I'm excited for it. I'm excited yeah, for nice. it. I'm excited. So it's a bit exciting. Eh? Yeah, it's really Shut exciting. Because how, how much you get bumped up there by by work when you get come back with the masters? What the masters? Yeah. Ah, the percentage? world. Is, the world is your oyster. It's, it's a different game. But the world is your oyster. It's like a five percent bumper. It's a bumper. It's not a five percent. It's not a five percent. It's not a five percent. It's a bumper on everything. Like now I'm a master of something. Well, not now. Yeah, but you. No, no, but we. Yeah, yeah, we manifest. So I'll soon, soon enough, I'll be a master of something. But yeah, that's. I'm waiting for that to start. The research is well. The research to complete the research more more than start. So I'm waiting for that. Everything else. Work. Work is great. My life is great. I'm a bit lighter. You know what I did the other day? Mm. I deleted Twitter again. You are light. And I felt the weight just shift. Because I feel like there's something about like social media and hearing so many of Bro, people's you thoughts. You, you, are, you become what you consume and your mind becomes what you consume. Yeah. So I, deleting Twitter is beautiful. Yeah, no, no. I definitely felt that. Because initially I, I, I didn't have it and then I deleted it. I and remember. I thought, let me see. Maybe maybe there's something I'm missing let out on. Let me see if that was trending. <laughs> oh, that. And Again. then I went back and then I realized why I'd left it. And then I yeah. concluded that this is something that's healthy for me and I yeah. need to stick Can, can by I ask? I, I, I get this because I've never had a, like a real problem on Twitter. Yeah. So I, and, I, and I hear often people saying it's so negative. It's so. So is your Twitter different from mine? Yeah. So everyone's Twitter, everyone's Instagram, everyone's Facebook, it's all tailored to what you search, what you interact with. Yeah. So, for example, your Twitter, Matladi, could just be sports and rugby and news. Because that's what I interact and with. And then Lucas could just be soccer. And then maybe because he follows me and he's, you know, he knows Quasi from university, he'll go into Quasi's timeline. Yeah. Quasi's timeline's talking about some toxic stuff, talking about yeah. current affairs, maybe talking about certain violence on certain groups of people. So it really depends on what you consume. Because my Instagram last year used to be just Instagram baddies and like really cool reels. Now yeah. my Instagram is just like weight loss, transformations, and oh, the, yeah. motivation. Okay. Oh, so okay. 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 so it's what, so what you make. The algorithm. Yeah. The algorithm. I, it's it, and also who you follow. Because the people yeah. that you follow, what they like and what they retweet and all these things just end up on your timeline. Yeah. So I think for me, I have a problem with um, looking at or having... Um, a microscope on how people think and what people think kind of makes me lose my faith in humanity because okay. I realize that how wild people are. Like it's one thing I know you're th- everybody's thinking whatever they think. Yeah, that's one thing because it's all in your head. Yeah. What you're gonna say is completely different. Mm. So I feel like Twitter removes that veil. Okay, and immediate you go from thought to writing mm. and distribution. People yeah. don't, people there's don't no the application of the mind. Yeah, no, but there's no thought process. Thought process in between. No is this tell. a thought I want to display in in the on the public platform? There's yeah. zero that. So because of that, it messes with my perception of humanity and people in general. 
Okay. Like I can't be as benevolent because of my perception. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it's a new year, guys. <laughs> Don't you get used to? <laughs> Should I define it? <laughs> yeah, but I, 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 <laughs> we, we, we believe yeah, that you know yeah, it. Yeah, we can get the concert. I can put one and two together. No, what, what would have been funny if Lucas was pranking us for the past eight episodes, just throwing in random Big words. words. <laughs> the comments would have led you. Would have led you to it. Okay, yeah, but anyway, yeah. so what I like is how we've been actually speaking about what the topic of this conversation is. Mm. Because I think we need to start off a new year with like, you know, positive energy and looking forward to like being a better version of ourselves. Like yeah, I yeah. feel like we should try this year to be better versions of ourselves. Take care of yourself, look yeah. after your emotions. And like I said in the last episode, mm. when I was talking at the end, when I was talking about looking at therapy and things like that. Like, I'm just trying to be a better version of myself. Back to exercising as well. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, he hasn't started this man. Drinking, I live with him. He doesn't, he, this guy wakes up late. I do it way before you even wake up. Is it, yeah. Way <laughs> before. <laughs> so, so, what are you, so what are you What are you doing like to now work on yourself and like make yourself the best version of yourself outside of being a fucking master's student? Well, first of all, the exercising. Nice. So I'm doing that every morning What do you now. do? What do you do? I tell the push up. I, say no, no, I, have a, the, I like the Nike training app. Then so I, I use also you run. Use the Nike train. No, no, not the running one. There's the training and then there's the yeah. running. Oh. So the training app is more you set a program for yourself. Mm. You tell it how many days a week you want to exercise, how often you want to do it. So if you say I'm gonna start slow, mm. you'd be like, give me 10 minutes, and then we'll pump it up from there. So yeah. you set a program and then it it uh, how do it coaches you through it. Okay. So, so it also makes you do like arms one day, big, yeah, abs legs, one day, legs uh, core. core, stability, flexibility, nice. all these things. Flexibility. It's about to say thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's for my plug. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, so that's one thing. Another thing is therapy. So I'm actually serious about that. I wanna. I spoke to my doctor, and I'm like, "Yo, and you were anti therapy. Lucas was so anti therapy for years. That's actually that's actually a good. Lucas was you anti. Lucas was anti mental health. I like Lucas. So what, what are your problems? I've got no problems. I'm fine. I'm fine. Do you see how problematic that? Yeah, bro. Is? I remember I used to speak to you like in university because Lucas and I go back to university. We just sp- I'd be like, Lucas, bro, I'm going through this. No, I wouldn't even make it by myself. I'd be like, bro, how are you coping with? And he'd be like, No, I'm fine. Everything's fine. Yeah. It's like, no, when I've got a problem, I fix it. If I can't fix it, I move on. Then I was like, hey, this guy's a robot. <laughs> <laughs> but I was yeah. still like, damn. <laughs> that is very problematic. Yeah. I realized like, because you know, when you, when you allow people into your space, you become more self-conscious of what energy you are portraying. Mm. And when you, when you are aware of that, you can see certain things that are, obviously it's going to be towards, for your preference, that they're not ideal. Like, I can't be like this every day and think it's okay. There's certain things that you know that if somebody, because I like looking at things from other people's perspectives. Like I like putting myself in other people's shoes and seeing the view of how I'm, I, how I'm acting or how I look. So I think to myself, like this person sees me like this. Is this a way that I would want to see somebody if I was sitting in their position? And more often than not, I'm like, there's, I, w- I will completely come from work and switch off. Yeah. I don't want to speak to anybody. I don't want to do anything. I just want to be by myself and switch off. There are Sundays where I don't want any engagement and I feel down and I feel like shit. I feel like my life is falling apart. I feel... I was about to ask you what, what, what led you to the point where you think you need therapy? And I'm, I'm hearing now yeah. that it's like there's no it's, it's basically my awareness of my emotions that they, they fluctuate a lot and without me knowing why. There's nothing that bothered me, but I'm bothered. So now in that moment of, fluctu- of fluctuation, man, because you're speaking like you get home, you switch off. When you switch off, what do you do? Do you switch off by grabbing your phone? Do you switch off by just being alone, like you lay on the bed? Like No, I, I switch off by grabbing my phone. Grabbing your phone. I get a distraction. And then in that moment, do you feel like you are trying to fight a certain sadness through distraction on social media? Or do you, f- like, what do you feel? I'm trying to think what you feel in that moment. In that moment, it's more like I don't feel. It's more nonchalant. It's very, any, I'm very irritable. I'm very on edge. So if you did something, I'm pissed, but I won't react, but I will get annoyed very easily. Yeah. So it's one of it's those kind of things. And I remember even, it used to stem back to varsity. You remember on Sundays and like end of the weekend and things like that, yeah. I'll be very, I'm not okay. I'm, not, I'm, on, I'm on edge, things like that. I'm disconnected. I think the word that I use a lot is disconnected. When I can't, if you told me a problem on that day, mm. I'm not going to, I don't care about your problem. I will oh, hear you, but I don't care. That's so true because you're very, because Lucas is very, I'm like, yo, Lucas, this is going on in my life. You'll be like, okay, this, okay, that's the problem, okay. How do you feel? Okay, here's the solution. 
But now I'm seeing this. So there's moments where you don't even give a solution because you're like, hey, dog, I'm going through. I will just hear you and say, oh, okay. Oh, that I sounds bad. That. Okay. So it's those kind of things. Those are little indicators for me to say, maybe it's about time that I pay attention to how I feel. Those can then actually look into it and find out if there's anything I'm neglecting. Because I've been watching a lot of self-growth videos and all these things. And a lot of the people, you know, these things where they'll say, because I'm on Reddit now. Reddit is dope. There's... <laughs> There's these things where people will say, what could you tell a 30-year-old? They'll talk, they'll talk to elderly guys, like men. Yeah, like what, what would you tell your 25-year-old what, what, self? 25-year-old yeah. self. I would tell somebody who's going through their 20s. I love those, those kind two. Of, I love those two. And uh, one thing that always pops up in there is take care of your mental health. Because everything that you think you're avoiding now, that you think you're suppressing and you can live without, you see, because we distract ourselves very easily. Work, 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 work. It's yeah. easy distraction. I got to work. I got to do this. There's this next. There's that next. Yeah. We never have time to ourselves to actually know what's going on within us. So they always, what always keeps coming up is that topic of take care of your mental health because it will catch up with you. You have done 20 years now and you've suppressed it. Yeah. The next 20 years are not going to be the same. Yeah. Those things are going to resurface. You're going to have kids. There are things in your childhood that have, that, that have rubbed you up a different way that you might put on your kids. Facts. You might You're projecting project now. at one point or another. You might be easily annoyed by your kids because you might have seen a parent do that mm. so without you being aware or you going to discover those things and seeing how they're affecting your life now yeah. you can't take care of them later if you don't do that so now in this instance like let's say for the young guys listening because i mean like what you're saying to me is also hitting home because i'm like okay cool she also need to reevaluate my life and work on my mental health if you had to tell a guy something because i'm like a lot of the guys are really scared to act on their feelings and their emotions and their mental health if you had to tell a guy something in two sentences in two sentences what would you say to them right now you're only human. You're only human. You go through a lot. You need to figure out why those things make you feel the way you do. Because only then can you speak your truth. Because yeah. another thing that's yeah, important... We need a pee. I need some water up in here. Like, I'm making it into a joke, but it's hitting my heart, bro. <laughs> I mean, I mean, but I, You've been quiet. Because you're hitting our hearts. No, no, no. And I, 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 I hate to sound like a, like an asshole. Yeah. And I, I don't, I don't know if, if, if it's ignorance or not. Don't, but, don't, but, but, don't but, knock but, it first. But what do you? And I, I think I tried to allude to it on the, on the previous episode. What do you, what do you hope to gain? If, 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 if you put in your posi- if you put yourself in a position where you actually understand what the issue is. Yeah. As you, as you asked. Okay. But what, what's, what's, what's you do something because this value. Yeah. What what is what is the value that you're trying to gain from these things that you're trying to understand? Which, by the way, and and from where I'm coming from, I've and I don't know if it's just my experience. Stop! 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 So, to me, and and therapy has never been an option for me. Okay. I, I didn't I didn't grow up in a space where. We spoke about it at home. Yes. So you had problems and you all you had to do was figure it out. Yeah. I'm slowly realizing that I didn't really p- figure it out. I moved it to the side. But one thing I struggled to wrap my head around, and I think maybe you had a better position to actually see it because you're closer to therapy. Okay. But for me, it's, it's, it's just, like I was saying, what is the value? So if, if I do an event A or I do event B, I expect C. Mm-hmm. What I really try to understand, and I, I, as much as people explain it to me, I, maybe you can now. What do you expect from it? Do you, A, want a better life? B, do you want a better understanding? Will it actually help in, in a practical manner? Will it say, okay, I felt like shit yesterday, but because I went to therapy, I felt better this year. Or not this year, tomorrow. So I just want to answer after Lucas. So, sure. I, feel like yeah. I, just, so I, I, I think what I, I think for me, what I struggle to understand, like I said, what is the expectation from this? You go to someone, you explain what you're going through, and they use their academic background to say, "Oh, based on what you've explained to me, I think you should do this." Then do you do it? You know, you know my because because wait, 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 don't gaslight there are people saying I think. Okay. It's the same way it's like saying going to a chef asking them to cook like I think I can make eggs. Okay. They know how to make eggs. Okay. They know I, how to deal with the mental health. Okay. I and, and thing is I'm 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 a big fan of academia. So I yeah. understand that there's a science to it. I hope there's a science to it. But still at fundamentally, what do you expect from it? Matladi, okay, let me explain it to you 
in well from my understanding because yeah. obviously i haven't been through this and i'm no professional to say what it should do and what it shouldn't so do. he hasn't gone you yeah gone yeah before. Yeah, that, that's yeah, why I'm, I'm what I, I'm, yeah, that's why I'm asking more expectation. Yeah. So it's more like comprehension. It's okay. a matter of comprehension. So when you read throughout high school or primary through high school, they taught you how to read something and have the ability to comprehend what you're reading. You can read something. I can teach you how to read. This, that, the word that, the word this, the word whatever. You know the word. You can spell it out. You can read it. But the comprehension separates you from understanding and and knowing okay so when you it's it's about you have an emotion you i do something you get upset okay right how you comprehend that emotion that you're feeling dict or well, not dictates but it it is the it is the differentiating factor between how you're going to act about how you feel you okay. can one sulk okay. two you can say to me hey lucas you did this and i didn't like it okay and you can say that without feeling ashamed of you feeling that way because okay. you understand why you feel that way and you understand that how you feel is justified okay so Fair that's sense. what therapy helps what i imagine would help me to do because there are things that i can't pinpoint why is it that i feel like this and how okay. should i be able to express how i feel without feeling like because you know what i have this thing of doing when i feel something i will rationalize it in my head and leave it at that and never address it when is in fact that it's valid for me to feel like that. Why do I feel like I'm giving myself therapy? But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm saying. <laughs> also, also, like, that's the thing. But bro, it's like, one thing for me to do this and, and practice. Also, that's the thing. Like, as much as I believe in therapy, I think people should go to it. You can be your own therapist, bro. Mm, mm. Like, I think therapy, the most important thing of therapy, and Lucas touched on it, is understanding, bro. It's like a maths equation, bro. If they say, what's two plus two, and you don't know, you're going to sit there frustrated not knowing what two plus two is. Yeah. Mm. And if you, if you think of the two plus two as frustration, like, why am I upset? And you don't know why you're upset, you're going to be even more upset and that frustration yeah. builds. Yeah. But when someone tells you that, yo, in life, there's good, there's bad. Yeah. There's mm. yin, there's yang. There's going to be moments where you're very happy, there's going to be moments of frustration and loneliness. And the most important thing to understand in those moments of loneliness and frustration is that that is normal. Yeah. And it's yeah. okay to sit in that feeling and it's okay to do nothing and just exist. Mm. You get me? So I think therapy is just, most of the time, is just for understanding your situation. Lucas might be like, why am I sad? And I understand, okay, you're sad because of this. Okay, maybe it stems from this. Okay, now he knows what he can work on. Maybe he mm. should work on his relationship with his friends, with his mom, his dad, his siblings. Uh, maybe he should work on how he tackles um, growth in the, in the workspace. Yeah. Maybe he should relieve certain pressures from himself when he's trying to, you know, elevate in the workspace. Mm. It's, I think therapy is all about understanding. Maybe yeah. I'm putting too much pressure on myself. Pressure maybe myself. maybe I'm not I'm not allowing myself to feel. Therapy is root cause analysis. It is. It's basically that okay. you but, want to understand. But and like for example, you I think you can do the the RCL RCA by what yourself. Root cause, root cause analysis. analysis. Okay. I think yeah. you can do it by yourself. Like yeah. For example, me I went to, I've been to therapy. I'm gonna lie once. I went to therapy once. Yeah. Mm. I completely hated it. Yeah. There was an old lady that didn't know what the fuck she was saying and she was just gathering all my feelings. She'd tell me things that I've tried to go do. Go yeah. speak to your dad. Go I've done those things, <laughs> yeah. bro. I've done yeah. those things. You get me? Mm. And I realized that what she was doing was trying to find the problem, trying to get me to fix it or trying to help me understand and accept that this is how life is like. Yeah. Because mm. most of the time people don't understand that like, bro, you're going to be sad. Yeah. yeah. You're going to be broke. Yeah. yeah. You're going to be rich. You're going to be, be happy. Successful. You're going to be happy. Yeah. And it's like, and also the, the biggest problem with human beings, now I want everyone to listen now. Yeah. The biggest problem with human beings. Here's your that one, okay. Yeah. <laughs> the biggest problem with human beings is us focusing on what's next in the future. Bro, for example, if you're in a relationship, I can't wait for you to graduate. I can't wait for you to get that car. Bro, fuck all that shit, bro. Focus on what you're doing right now and enjoy the moment now. You're yeah. seeing your girlfriend now. You're with your boys now. Yeah. You're shooting a podcast now. You're, enjoy you're watching a YouTube video now. Enjoy that. Yeah. Yes, yeah. plan for the future. Yes, have strategic moments. But enjoy the moments that you're having in the present. Because mm -hmm. it'll never be the moment again. Stop fixating on the future too much. Because yeah. now all and you'll the be past. thinking about is the future and the past. Because you know, you know what the past is a lot of those things of yo, I can't how was that interaction with that person? Was I okay? Was I normal? Yeah, was, that weird? was that weird? Yo, how, was I, how did I come across? I was I'm so embarrassed by that thing that happened to me five months ago and now I'm thinking about it over and over and I can't move past it. If so that that little that the subtleties that have such a big influence on your mood without justification in the present that affect how we feel. Like there's no justification for why you feel like it now, but you've been thinking about something that happened five months ago yeah. and it's affecting how you feel now. And you can't tell yourself, listen, that happened a long time, let it go. No one it's is thinking time. about it but you. Yeah. 
Literally, no one is no one is thinking about what you're thinking about that is besides true. you. No one is in your head feeling what you're feeling besides you. No one is thinking about how you're moving, how you're walking, how you're talking, how you look besides you. You are your biggest like critic area and critic in life. And if you just shut the fuck up, you'll succeed. <laughs> this man is angry. <laughs> you are so angry. <laughs> I was thinking to myself. I was thinking to myself. <laughs> but because yeah, I, 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 I discovered this this year. So. Okay, going back, like, linking this back to what we're talking about, right? For you, just without talking about therapy or anything like that, moving forward from that, and just encompassing everything that you do for yourself as self-discovery and personal growth, mm. right? What do you, how do you think for yourself that personal growth affects, well, the importance of it in your values, your beliefs, and who you are? Like how do you think personal growth, what role do you think personal growth plays in that space for you? <laughs> and self-discovery. Hey, you guys came with a topic. Look at my core, I have to apply my mind. To use the English. <laughs> but, Translate the English. But I hear you, Luke. Uh, I, I hear you. I hear what you're saying. So yeah. yeah. I, and, I, I, and I think different things work for different people. Mm -hmm. And... I hear what you're saying, but no. when I when I evaluated for myself, and I just want to finish off on this. Yeah. When I when I evaluated for myself, I for me personally, it's not a necessity. And personal I, I, growth. Yeah. Oh no, not personal growth. I'm talking about. Oh, you going back to therapy? Therapy and all those things. You know what? You're not crazy, right? Before you carry on, let me let me let me, let me put okay, it like this. Okay. Way. I have not felt the need yet. You know what's crazy? You don't need it. No, you know what's crazy. You remember? I think it was around about the first episodes or the yeah the first few episodes, season one, mm -hmm. when we were still at the. Our couch. At the bouch. At the bouch. Yeah. We're talking, I was telling, I was telling you about that, um, forgot what the name is, that window where you have things that you know, like your known knowns mm -hmm. and then your known unknowns, your unknown knowns and yeah. your unknown unknowns. Yeah. There are things you think are okay. Yeah. See, for example, from my perspective as somebody that lives with you, I will tell you things that you don't know about yourself. You have, n you have not... You you think there's certain things you think you know. Mm -hmm. There's certain things that you know for a fact, mm -hmm. and there's certain things that I know that you don't know. And then there's other things where we both don't know. Okay, for the things that I know and you don't know about it, right? I can easily say you are highly agreeable. For example, okay. Whenever somebody whenever says some whenever somebody tells my lady, hey. Uh, I have this problem or I have whatever, whatever. You want to internalize it. Yeah. So this is a bit of a psychoanalysis. Forgive me if I'm going mm -hmm. well. So you want to internalize it from my perspective, what I've seen with you. You want to internalize it. You want to make it your problem. It makes you feel, it messes up your whole day. Now you can't help but think yeah, about that one thing. You might inherit stress. You inherit, that stems from somewhere. And you, I think you would be a better person if you didn't, if that didn't affect you in as much as it does. No, he's a lover, dog. I think it's a good no, trait to have. It is a good, no, he, him being a lover doesn't go away. Yeah. But he can always be, you can always be empathetic, but at the same time, understand that. Not to your detriment. Not to your detriment. But oh, yeah, but so, he, so, me, so, so he'll actually, like if let's say I'm sad, he'll become the same sad. The same sad yeah, and he'll do it to a fault. Oh, well, I'm fine. It becomes yeah, his problem internally. No, and I've seen him fall apart because but, of things like that. But, but I just, I just want to add, for, for me, I, I I heavily depend on evidence and experience. Yeah. So I've for the short life I've lived, mm. I've quickly learned that when bad shit happens, sorry to swear for no reason. Excuse when the bad, French. When I've been swearing, yeah, 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 you're you know, saying, you. Ah! <laughs> 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 so, so <laughs> but for, for me, and I don't know if, if it's it's it's. I don't. I don't consider myself to be pessimistic. Yeah. So I don't. I don't know if I am being pessimistic. But for me, what I've what I've what I've quickly realized or have to internalize is that sometimes bad stuff goes on. True. Sure. And you can't control it. Mm -hmm. So the moment you want to fix it, you want to take accountability for things you can't control. Yeah. And I think once you start looking at things that way, that's when you start needing support externally. Are you following? Am I making sense? Or should I go try Reiterate. It? Okay. The moment you... And I don't want to sound ignorant. That's my biggest fear. <laughs> you see what you keep doing. Yeah. Don't, 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 don't be shy. No. no, don't disregard okay. what you're about to say before you say it. My, 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 my thing is, if you, if you have an understanding that it's not going to be roses every day, yeah. you, you, can, you, you are better prepared. You know that, okay, 
sometimes I'll go through things that are undesirable for me. Mm-hmm. So I think once I figured out that whatever bad things is are happening around me, it's not because of me. I've learned to deal with things a little bit better. And how do you understand that? I, 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 just the way things are set out. I've I've accepted that hey, yo, all I can do is my best. Yeah? If something happens and it's out of my control, if I feel shit in the morning, it's out of my control. But I've learned to know that okay, this will let me let me How let me do you a, learn let, to know? Let that? me let me use a Bible scripture. This too shall pass. So I've 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 and I don't know if I don't know if it's dangerous or not. I don't know if it's dangerous or not. But I I I've adopted a mentality that if bad things are happening or things are not going my way, it will pass because now when we started the episode I said, "Oh, I'm excited for the year." Yeah. I wouldn't have told you this on the 24th of December last year. The only thing that has changed between then and now is time. So I've 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 learned to know that if I wake up and I try to be a good person and I try to be my best, that's the best I can do. Okay. I'm not downing support or therapy or rehab or anything like that, but I think for everyone's sake, including mine, the moment you accept that if something bad happens it's not your fault. It's not your doing. You learn to live a healthier life. You tend to lead to need less support. So from how I see things, I've I've been fortunate in the sense that I haven't had the ability to experience terrible things. Yeah. But sometimes I do feel like, yo, know, this is unfair. Why me, God? Yeah. Type of thing. But I've learned that, you know, when 6 months from now I'll probably forgot that I felt like this and I'll be in a much better position. I've learned that things work out for the better all the time. And I think because of that faith that I have and it's not in God it's not in ancestors it's not in anything it's faith that hey yo I wouldn't have been put on this place here without it being good. So I've learned to accept that and it it has helped me to be, to have a little bit of a positive outlook on things and that has alleviated a lot of pressure a lot of stress as well. So I'm not at a point where I I can say completely say you need therapy go to therapy. Yeah. But I have a sense that hey yo bad things will happen and it's okay. I will be fine at some point. You know You touched on something that's very important when you said learning how to deal with things. So I want to give you an analogy. Sure. Say as humans we have legs. We can walk, we can run. Right? We all can run. Whether or not you can run fast or not. We okay. all can run. Take an athlete, naturally can run. Right? The difference is technique. How you start, how you stand on your on your on your what do you call these things? on your starting block we used to call it a start but i don't think that's a formal name for it yeah but like how you your stance your how you step those kind of things that's technique yes you can run it's a natural given ability but when you are dealing with life when you are it seems like a sort of a imagine it as a a competition a 100 meter dash okay what sets you apart from the next guy is your technique obviously there's talent in there there's some people who handle their emotions better than other people right and sometimes you need guidance to improve on your technique to improve on your stride to Im- move faster be better okay be more to efficient be more efficient okay. you can have emotions and take 15 days to deal with them okay. or you can suppress them okay but you can learn a technique that will help you deal with them in the moment then you don't have to wait 15 days for you to feel okay yeah because you did mention time time amazing yes we've all i've definitely used time to my advantage in the sense that things will be better with time I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think Lucas means like from 15 days of waiting to same day results. Like 15 yeah, days but to like four days. I'm just it's an it's a it's an analogy for efficiency that it's much shorter. Whatever yeah. would have it, it would have taken you alone without any training, without any technique, also, it might it, help you do it faster. It might not even be shorter. It might be longer, but it might be long lasting. So it might be yeah. more beneficial. It might be more impactful. More impactful. Yeah. So it's those. That's what I'm hoping for. I'm not. The thing is I'm not saying everybody should do it. I'm not saying go out and do it. I'm saying do not ignore the inherent feeling that you are confused or you are not sure or maybe it's overwhelming. If ever you feel like that, in the same way that whatever has led me to what is because Tato did mention that at some point I didn't want to do this. Yeah. At some point I didn't believe this was possible or whether or not I would ever do this. Yeah. But now I can feel that there's something that might be a little overwhelming, a bit bigger than me, and I feel It's like if other people uh, if other people feel that way, you might not feel that way. Yeah. But if other people feel that way, you always have an option. Also guys, I want you guys to understand like the keynote that Lucas is saying. He's not saying that like 
the solution is therapy. He hasn't even gone to therapy yet. <laughs> Lucas nope. is saying that the most important thing is to be able to identify the fact that you may need help. And help can come from you going to therapy. Help can be you going to speak to, to you going to speak to a parent. You going to church, speaking to someone from church, speaking to your friends, speaking to your friends. You just journaling, you praying, you writing. You have options. The most powerful thing that Lucas is saying right now is that identify where you're at and realize that yo, I actually need support. And the support can come from within. The way Clyde mm. handles things, for example. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and that's if you do need it. And I can't, yeah, I can't wait for like six months to go past for us to get a perspective from Lucas once he's gone to like let four, me do it first. Yeah, four yeah. to eight uh, sessions or even one session of therapy. Once you come back, you be like, hey, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to waste yeah, but, 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 the money. money. And time. I, I think I think I think I think you 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 should you've enlightened me a bit. Uh, I, when you explain the technique part, yeah, uh, that you might be talented and and. Some people can deal with their emotions because of their experiences. And I've slowly realized maybe some people can't. And I think anything that will help you refine methods is always an advantage. <laughs> but I, I'm still... I've seen too many... You know another thing I need to mention, right? I've seen too many break, breakdowns. I've yeah. seen too many people around me... Have you ever had a breakdown? I've never had a breakdown. But I've seen too many people around me have breakdowns. Yeah. And that breakdown... Seeing it, it doesn't seem too far fetched from me. Okay. Because I can easily be them. Okay. I can easily be so overwhelmed to a point where something builds up so much it explodes. And now you guys are shocked. Why is this why is this guy acting this way? Ali I've yeah. never seen him do that. Why is yeah. he doing that? I don't ever want something because because I've bad witness to that reaction from other people. I don't want to ever find myself in that position. But sometimes I feel like I, I, you know, when you feel so closed off, you just want something to happen. Anything should happen that yeah. should move me out of this. Something's got to give. Something's got to give. And that's like a thing you will go through. You'll be mad at work. You're like, yo, I wish something could just happen <laughs> so I can just be out of this place or I'm forced to be out of this place or whatever. You could feel like you are closed tight within, let's say, your household and you're like, yo, I want to leave home so much. I want to get out of this place. Yeah. And you don't understand why when it's something you could easily just be like, oh, this is probably what's making me. Or maybe somebody could help you like, that's probably what's making me feel like this. Say maybe they don't give you your freedom at home, for example. You're like, and then somebody helps you say, okay, I think your problem is that you like your own space and it doesn't seem like they're giving you freedom. How do you think you can attain that for yourself? Okay. And you say, okay, I could probably speak to my mother and tell her that, hey, uh, I don't mind being at home or doing this or doing that, but I also want space for myself so that I can live and be young and, and be with my friends and not have to be so concerned about coming back home or upsetting you because I come back home and you're upset and then we fight, those kind of things. Finding ways to approach your problems. Finding ways to address your emotions. Saying, hey, sit down with your mother and whatever. I know with my mother, at some point, you know how you say you train your parents. <laughs> I sat down with, at some point, my mother, I used to have this thing where I used to leave and come chill with you guys at head, in Hitful when I was still living at home. And come back the next day. And come back the next day. <laughs> and you know what I would do? I would leave in the morning knowing for a fact that we're going to party today and I'm coming back the next day. You wouldn't day. tell her. But you know what I'll tell her? I'll say, okay, what lot? First of all, no? and then when Lata comes, I call and say, take city Yeah, you lie. Be I care. lie. I keep building this line. And then obviously by the time you take city Ferry, there's nothing she can do about it. She'll say, I'll say no, but I'll stay somewhere. So at some point, my mother says to me, like, Katlo, what's my way? Yeah. You know you're not coming back. I remember, and I remember this, this yeah. day when she She's like, you. you know, I know you know you're not coming back. I don't understand why you don't just tell me that so yeah. I don't have to think about you. No, coming back or not. Oh, and I was man. like, I appreciate that. So listen, I'm not coming back. Get the one next month. And, and she's she, like, she, react? she took it for, because she put that platform for me. Thank God. She allowed me a safe space to, for me to tell her, I'm like, oh, so you understand? Because my interpretation the whole time is, you, you don't, don't understand, understand. You won't understand. You, know, you don't understand. You don't understand why I want to show my friends. Yeah. You always think it's such a bad idea. But the whole time she's like, I understand. Yeah. And I didn't know that. So it, luckily she gave me a platform to do that. So there's those kind of problems that you go through in life where you, a different approach or a different perspective on that situation can help you approach it or deal with it more accordingly. Yeah. No, no, no. Hey, journey to self-discovery, I guess. Journey to self-discovery. Because a part of me feels like this can help improve even things like relationships. Yeah. Like self-discovery and awareness can help you improve relationships. Because... Another thing, I right now, well, I've, I've been through a few relationships 
in my life. Well, I'm thinking more serious relationship relationships. So far, it's two. The one that I had before and the one that I currently have. And I think one thing that I'm realizing with relationships, they really put a spotlight on how you deal with your emotions. Mm -hmm. When somebody upsets you, how do you react to that? I, or maybe other people might be able to react, to relate. I sulk. I stop talking to you. Or maybe I go into my corner and when you ask me what's wrong and I say nothing. It's not, when the, I healthy, know, it's not the healthiest way. It's not a healthy approach. Mm -hmm. So because obviously I always, I owe it to myself to improve myself before I even say therapy or whatever. I can say, okay, clearly um, if I'm aware, I can say, because um, another thing is self-awareness with some personal growth and everything. So I'm aware of, okay, I'm sulking and there'll be material on YouTube, for example. And I like this channel called uh, School of Life. They always go into these topics and these things. And I realized that when you sulk, it's because you kind of disregard your emotions and say, or maybe think this person has tele telepathic abilities to read your mind and say, oh no, Matladi is upset because he asked me to get him. Uh, Most of the time it's just, it's, I think that situation is like, you make yourself the victim. You make yourself like, the- I've seen this happen with a lot of couples. Like people, I'll be angry at my girlfriend, she'll be angry at me. Not this, not my girlfriend, my girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah I'm hypothetically. saying it's hypothetically you. Mm. You're sulking. You feel attacked mm. by um, your girlfriend. You feel like you're not understood and you feel like you are the one that is the victim. Now in the situation, when you have that perspective, you're not f trying to understand her perspective, yeah. how you're she not trying did. to understand how she's receiving you and- 10 times out of 10, 9 times out of 10, she's also the victim in her perspective. Yeah. And, or, or even worse, she doesn't even know that you feel that, that you way. feel that way. You get me? And and she would she would be so much better off. Ella over. She would be so much better off if she knew what your problem was. Yeah, exactly. Because how is she meant to fix that problem? Exactly. How is you she need, meant you to you fix that problem? You need to say, yo, listen, uh, plug, I don't like the fact that <laughs> when I speak to you and this happens, it makes me feel like this. This maybe makes me feel like this. You disregard my my my, 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 my interests. And I know, I, have an interest. not, I, know, I know that you're not trying to do it with the malicious intent or to hurt me, but it just happens to be hurting me in this instance. Yes, and once she understands that, she will everything. be mindful of it the next time you say, yeah. hey, I got this new watch and I really like it. It's the coolest thing ever. She'll be like, oh, sh you like it. Oh, what does it do? She'll be more enthusiastic because yeah. she understands what it means to you. Yeah. Because for her, it might Shit, not the mean plug, the plug anything. The plug doesn't think your watch is cool? No, no, no. That's just an example. Oh. <laughs> now my plug yeah, is great. Personal, no, no, no. no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I put a new watch. You don't see I'm a new watch. <laughs> no, but I hear you, bro. So it could be those little things. And I feel like you understand or taking the time to discover yourself you you are aware of every time i'm upset i keep quiet i don't tell her what's wrong yeah. she has to nag me 15 hours on end I'm and fine, then I'm only fine, later I'm on fine, when fine. she has nagged you to oblivion you then explode and tell her what's gone wrong yeah. and even your approach on how to tell her what's gone wrong is so terrible so it upsets her and then she retaliates and now it's a fight and no yeah. it could have been easily I saw, discussed i saw a video or like a, a twitter or a tiktok okay tiktok is a video yeah and they were saying that like people need to change i'm fine to I'm not fine right now. I don't feel like talking about it right now. I just need some space or you coming to me every five minutes is not working. Let me gather my thoughts and then I'll come to you and express to you how I feel once I'm ready. Yes. Instead of saying I'm not fine the whole time. See yeah. that technique? Luckily, we live in an, a day and age where that information is freely available. Yeah. But obviously, you need to be able to look for it and yeah. want to look for it. There was a time, and it technically still is, like how school has taught me where to find resources. doesn't teach me everything, but it teaches me where to source information. Yeah. If I have a problem about A, I know that if I go to this place, I will find material that will help me solve this problem, or at least put me in a better position than I am now. Yeah. Things like therapy are those kind of reference tools that you say, okay, I have a problem now. I don't know how to deal with it, but I'm sure this material or source of material can help yeah. me at least navigate around it or put me at a better position than I am Yeah, now. it's like, yo, dog, when I wake up, I feel so sluggish. I feel so sad. I don't know what's going on. No it's like, okay, cool. Explain to me, how's your morning like? Okay, how's your night like? Okay, cool. When you sleep, your thing is that you're consuming bad content the whole night and then when you wake up, you're consuming bad content again and you expect yeah. to wake up with energy. You should actually be consuming good content or you should put your phone away for the last 10 minutes before you sleep and meditate or read a book. Yeah, suggestions. Say, suggestions, yeah. It's just basically suggestions. Then you try them out and see how they work for you. If they yeah. don't work for you, you switch to the next one if they I'm, do. But you're not going to come up with these suggestions on your own because you're not trained to do to think like that. You're not yeah. trained to look at situations. Therapists or professional 
uh, um, or psychologist or whatever those that profession they are trained to know where the resources are if you came to me now and said oh this line is not working efficiently there's something wrong there's a bottleneck somewhere but we don't know where it is i know exactly where to go i can go get the theory of constraints yeah. and iron that out and see where the problem is and identify yeah. because i'm trained like that 100%. they are trained in that that, that environment yeah. and they should be able to find those resources yeah I oh yeah, you. back to relationships. Yeah, those things are important for relationships because they help you interact with people better. Yeah, yeah. you know the thing is, man. Yeah, I hear you completely. Mm-hmm. Wait, me cut. I need to do that thing. No, I think the normal the number. Every time I tell you something. Okay, we're back. So, my, I think we all need to be very careful. Yes. Man? Before, and this is my personal opinion. Before you start looking for support, and this is for anybody and me, by yeah. the way, nah, I think there's a few steps that you you need to take practically for yourself. Initiative. Initiative. The first thing is self-awareness. True. And I think it's one of the, the, the more difficult things to do in the universe. Yeah. It's it's difficult. You you need to know what takes you off and what doesn't take you off. Yeah. The the second part that I think helps mitigate a lot of the issues that we face is communication. Mm-hmm. I think I think and I don't want to say I don't want to be one of those guys that say as black men. Yeah. But I I think as no, speak your truth as as, that's as, you see it. as people hey, in general you let's protect yourself before you speak. I don't want to say yeah. <laughs> I don't want to sound like I don't, I don't necessarily <laughs> feel like this. I don't want to sound <laughs> racist. <laughs> 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 But one thing I've learned in my long life, yeah, is communication. Communication with yourself. Yeah, you need to understand who you are, nah? Before you expect someone else to tell you what you should be feeling like, you need to understand what's acceptable for you. Tricky, but okay, I'm near. very tricky. It's I, not a I skill. It's not a skill that's inherent to us. I think the question is, Matladi, how do I communicate my feelings? Because what what I think, and now I'm on a tangent, but I think a lot has to do with intention. Okay. So if you are in a relationship, for instance, and your partner makes you feel awful yes. for whatever reason, mm. the first step that I think practically has worked for me, I said, and I look, okay, did this person intend to make me feel like this? Okay. Did this circumstance intend to make me feel like this? If the answer is no, I can work around. I can work my way around it. What's working your way around it? Ayo, I got upset because my girl didn't do A, B, and C. Nah? Okay. I figured out that, oh, okay, my girl did not mean to upset me, but A, B, and C still happened. True. So I need, I need to, I need to, I need to, you, you need to, and I always, I always refer to ego. You need to remove yourself from it. Okay, I feel bad. I'm, I'm sad. You need to first have the ability to communicate that. Hey, babe, you know what? I'm mad. I'm not mad at you. I'm mad at the circumstance. It's going to take me a little bit of time to get over it, but I want you to know that I still love you, I still care for you, but I felt very upset. Bro, I wonder how you are in relationships, eh? Because if you are yeah. this way, you're, you're an amazing boyfriend. No, no, no. I, I, I think Pract- this is, for me, it's training. For me, it's training. For oh, me, it's training. training. I, oh. I didn't start off like this. There's, there's certain things that used to upset me that don't upset me anymore. Even if they do upset me, I know, hey, Matladi, <laughs> relax, talk. It's you're, not you're personal. Are, you're, under, you're not under attack, yeah. Yeah, I'm not, I'm, and because the thing is, I know I do the same things. I, for a practical example, I hate my phone. It gives me anxiety. Okay. I know that. I try to put it away. You and I both. Yes. I've is learned it, to so communicate. Is, is it because of work or is it because of? It's, it's work. Uh, you, you, know, you know what the thing is? You mentioned in, in this episode, yeah. Yeah. I get a problem, I want to fix it now. Yeah. That's my problem. Oh. Now, I've, I'm, I'm, and then I, I need to remind myself that it's not going to work out now. You must watch a video. I'll show you to watch the podcast. Yeah. It's by Mbumi. Not, not Mbumi the Dwaba. Um, Y'all's channel. I like Mbumi. Yeah, but this is by Y'all's channel. Yeah. She says, you need to understand that we all have our own timelines. Yes. And you can't be quick to jump into somebody else's timeline yes. to a system just because you got an email or a message. Yes. You have your own timeline with things that you have to do. Yes. So once someone tries to point your timeline, you need to be able to identify that they're pouring and then put it where? In the next available slot. Yeah. So when you get a problem and someone, you can't fix it now. That's my point. I like that. Yeah. Approach. But yeah. That, and Actually, those, coming to think of that, well, I want to ask a question afterwards. Yeah. yeah. But those, 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 that's what I find value in. The, the practical element of it. Understanding that, hey, it's bad, but it's only bad for now. Mm-hmm. If I can't fix it now, 
it will fix itself if it needs to fix itself. Yeah. But it happening has nothing to do with me personally. It doesn't take away from who I am. Yeah. Yeah. I've I've I value my character. I try to be honest when I have to be honest. I try to be faithful. <laughs> you try. Okay, I am faithful. <laughs> but I think, 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 I think I'm not speaking to myself as well. You need to be mindful of it's not your fault. Yeah. One. Two, if there's nothing you can do about it, there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah. Yeah. And then I think I, I uh, remiss of me to not mention and reiterate. 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 Re- re- Iterate. Reiterate. I communication with yourself. Yeah. Understand why you're feeling the way you're feeling. Stop taking everything personally. And I think yeah. once yeah, you, you spitting, yeah. Yeah. shout out. Once you do that and you're lucky enough to find a partner that understands that, you're in a much better position. True. But communicate I my 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 giveaway or take away from this episode. We need to learn how to communicate with ourselves and your feelings. The moment you understand yourself, you are less anxious. I'm so proud of you. Yeah, before you didn't know the difference between he and her. Now <laughs> <laughs> he's doing amazing. He's doing amazing. <laughs> nah, nah, shout out to you guys for. I don't know what you guys have done, but you guys. No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> like, like, I've, like I've said, personal con- growth. Like I've said, countless time. This, this, and 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 this is why I always say everybody needs to try something that they should like or yeah. try something because this this podcast in itself has added. Way more value than I anticipated. It's yeah. therapy. Yeah, I know English now. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> and you're going to therapy once a while. <laughs> this you're is speak, my therapy. You're speaking, about, yeah, you're speaking about your feelings. Oh, I was about this, to ask you guys. My I wanted to ask you guys what are your strategies on dealing with things like your. You see what we're talking about, for example, yeah. like your mental health, for example. Okay. Like, do you have resources or strategies that you use? Either it could be videos or whatever you want. Yeah, that's that's what I was I was trying to explain. Yeah. The the communicating to yourself. Yeah understanding what you did and what the impacts are or implications are. And I think if if you put yourself in a position where you are open to things going bad mm-hmm. and not affecting you, you're in a, and I'm very repetitive here, you're in a better position. I think that's the first step. Understand who you are first. And it doesn't take someone else to show you who you are. Yeah, You know what takes you off, dog. I think I the problem that. is communicating what takes you off. You know, you know, in that same, like in that breath, just to keep. Why did you rub my thigh? Okay, yeah, Joe, she didn't. He just touched it. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so you know, I always have like in that same light, right? I there's a thing between theory and practice, like practice. Okay. I can I know a lot of theory. I can speak my mind off. I can tell you how things are meant to be. How you should approach situations. So eloquently with so much articulation, I can articulate it so well. Yeah. In practice, when I am the subject of okay. that scenario, what I say and what I do, because I'm overwhelmed by emotions, what yeah. I say and what I do, yeah. it's completely different things. But I can reflect afterwards and say, probably should have done that, should have did this, this is how I felt, my reaction was terrible, blah, 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 all these things. But in the moment, practice is a bit skip, And that's why I wanted to ask you guys, what is your strategy to try and reinforce these things that you're speaking about? How did you end up here? That kind of vibe. Like how... How does it, how do you improve on that? I think it's a lot of what Matladi said, bro. Like, understanding. How do you do that? How do you do that? You talk, I, you, I'm trying to think, like, you see with me, so I'm, I'm a very explosive, impulsive. impulsive, reactive person. You get me? Especially when it comes to my emotions. Like, let's say Lucas, I'll be like, fuck, Lucas, fucking, like, I'll just be like, <laughs> Tato will tell you now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I can, I can, Kiss me I mean, off. And I can also be, remember Tato left our spot the one time? <laughs> You guys, are, you guys pissed me off. I don't understand what you guys are going to do that's this. That's the reacts. Yeah, yeah. And also, I become so... I'm a hand, bro. I become so... What's the word? Give a bad I become so rude to a person who upset me. I become so just, rude. Tato left our house and sent a voice note when you got home. Like, I don't like this. I'm you guys did this. I'm so I disappointed. Remember. I'm so disappointed in you guys. I don't believe you. You guys did this. And you know when I see a situation Wait, like that, my first... This was this was one. Well, it was... 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 It was December or, or early yeah, July. Yeah, it was related. We were going yeah. to... Um, the underground place. Well, you I remember yeah, that one. Yeah, I remember. I remember. I remember. I remember. Mid lockdown. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, you're still speaking. Sorry to disturb you. Yeah. But no, I'm just... I'm trying to think now what I do. Like, like now... Like, for example, this morning. Um, My goal came. 
and I was I was in a good mood, bro. I woke up, I did like three thousand skips, couple push ups, couple sit ups, showered, made a meal, and then I got the pool fixed yesterday. So now when the pool was fixed, when the guy was fixing the pool at like two, the power went off. So he's like, mm-hmm. no, okay, cool, the power's gone, but I'm gonna definitely fix it. Yeah. This morning I wake up and like, everything's going well, bro. I go to the pool, it's not fixed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I lose my mind, bro. Yeah. Because, like, when he was fixing it, bro, like, I had to go to the shop three times because they forgot to buy certain parts. It was just, it was very incompetent. So now I'm Ish. there, I'm there, like, I'm talking, I'm talking to you. Oh, I'm saying my girl's name. I'm talking to my girl. We, we don't know. Yeah, you guys know. Okay. Do we? <laughs> hey, yo, guys. <laughs> guys <laughs> they take your guess in the comments. Say, say, say 10 grand. <laughs> if you really want to know, bro, I was say, live. say 10 grand and I'll tell you guys. <laughs> you guys don't know this, but I don't know. It sounds like an opportunity to me. Guys. I know everyone thinks I'm hating Kamu. Kamu's dating level. Crazy enough. And no one actually knows that. That is... That's just always around. Yeah, y'all so niggas wild. do wild things. <laughs> 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 I'm joking. I'm not 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 I'm like, this guy's incompetent. I'm calling him a fool. I'm yeah. mad. I'm like, how can you do this? And then my hand is like, bro, relax. Now I'm mad, mad, mad. Now I'm, I'm I spilled something on the kitchen. I'm like, nah, fuck, now I even spilled yeah. something. Now I'm, I'm aggressive, bro. I'm just like, fuck, I'm just pissed off. Now I start mopping. <laughs> then I'm mop, okay, I made a mess. Yeah. Mopping when you're angry as well. I'm mopping. <laughs> but no, usually I mop very vigorously. Now I'm mad. So I'm mopping in slow motion for some reason. Yeah. Bro. Then I'm just like, bro, in. In two days, four days, a week, I won't even remember the story. You won't yes. even care. Yes. I won't even remember that the pool was broken. I won't even remember that yes. this guy was incompetent. So why am I giving it so much power on me right now? When my goal is here, she's just driven from where she comes from. Driven Life is good. Life is good. The money is still brandles up. The boys hey. are healthy. Hey. The niggas are all growing. Hey. We're growing. We're in our, in our, we're in our late, hey. we're in our late hey. 20s. Hey. 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 We're in our, our, our mid-late 20s. And things are just progressing. Why am I letting such a small thing take over my entire morning? Yeah. But that, that's, that's, became fine. that's what I was alluding to. That a lot, a, lot, yeah. a lot of the problems is the impatience we have. Yeah, that's what I was saying. That as as soon as you take something, his incompetence shouldn't influence your life. It shouldn't make me <laughs> mad. That, that, it's how but someone guys, you know those are triggers, right? They, they there's, are, an under, there's an but, underlining but, but, reason but, 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 why but, what you are so quick to be angry. Yeah, but what I think is that if you, the moment you become self-aware of that, you can practice not to feel the same way you yeah. did. No, no, practicing, you know what, it, You know what the thing about practicing to avoid. Because it sounds to me like you're practicing to avoid. You're practicing to yeah. disregard. You, it's not going to change that something else is going to do that to you and you're going to react exactly the same way. Then you're going to no. do the same thing no, to no, yourself. No, 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 no. But, 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 but no, he's right. Because like with, with this instance, nah, the reason why I explore is because throughout the process, the mind, this guy has tried to fix the pool three times. Yeah, mm-hmm. I've been patient every single step of the way. Mm-hmm. So I had pr- practiced patience. I had been a good person. And usually I would have reacted way earlier. Yeah. So because I've been practicing, you know, being calm, he comes to me, he goes, I forgot a part. In my mind, I'm going like, you're a fool. How can you forget the part of your job? But I'm like, you know, you're not a fool, sorry. But I'm, I'm not going to get angry. I'm not going to get angry. Yeah. Let's yeah. get the damn part. Yeah. Because yeah. the objective is to fix the pool. Yeah. yeah. So I'd go and I'd go again and I was calm. Yeah. So now the fact that it wasn't fixed after four days is why I exploded. But because I had been practicing relaxing myself, it only happened after such a long yeah. period of time. And the, the crazy thing is that. So it's, it's improved from, it's improvement. from where you yes. started. I could have snapped on the first day when he fixed the pool and it wasn't working. Yes. Yeah. I could have lost my shit that day. I was like, yeah. uh, you know what? I'll just get him to come back again. Mm. But th- so you feel like every error. time you go through this or something that upsets you, it, your approach on it has been becomes improving. better. Not yeah, that and also just like growing and learning how life works and the whole yin and yang thing. There's bad and there's good. Like yeah. it's a it's a number of things, but definitely yeah. it's the amount of times that I'm in that scenario and me pulling myself back to the realization that like it's out of my control. I shouldn't take my day. I shouldn't take my morning. I shouldn't take my time and my energy. Yes. It's something that's you exterior. shouldn't center your existence yes. around yeah. that little bit. Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm a six figure making YouTube. I'm worried about a pool. I'm worried about a swimming pool not being fixed. Yes. And, oh. that, and that, so that's from me, that's what I try to practice. That things happening externally is not me. So you can only be mad about things you can control. Otherwise, it's futile. What are you doing? I don't think it's futile to be mad. I, I, I always believe that. You should feel how you feel. If you something should, yeah, pisses yeah, you, no, be pissed you, off. You should. But now, the, the but proportionate. Yeah, exactly. If you have the patience 
for things that are external. Then you, I, you, I'm not. Let me repeat that. You know what? I, you are in a better position. I, I, I'm assuming you don't mean when you say when you say patience, you don't mean suppression. No. Okay. No patience to know that sometimes things don't work out and they will work out. But also, it's not suppression because if something is not working out and I really wanted it to work out and it really upsets me, I should be upset. Yes, you know, and I, I mean, that's not what I, I want to be very careful. Mm. I'm not saying you shouldn't feel the way you feel. Okay. You have no choice over that, but you can choose to be patient about the outcome. Okay, yeah. you can you, you can improve you, on your patience. Yes, and I think the moment you do that, the amount of pressure you alleviate for yourself—it's crazy, bro. Because you reacting messes with your work ethic, messes with your day. Like for example, I'm sorry, I keep I keeping examples. One of my friends' laptop was broken. When they open the laptop, it works. When they close it, yatsuma. Yeah, <laughs> you know it's meant to. It's meant to flip. It's meant to flip. It's meant to flip. I just get another one. It's meant to flip. So now she took it to get it fixed. Yeah, right? and then they didn't fix it. Yeah, no, they said they fixed it. Comes back, they didn't fix it. All they did was give it a new software. Mm. Takes it again to another place. She goes another you know, one, another place. Yeah, but I would have taken it back to where they. I would have taken it back to where they. You wanna fix it? So now no, to where they the, the first initial ones that touched it. So now these guys go, no, listen, your warranty has been over six months. We can't give you. She's like, I want a new one. Like, no, we can't give you a new one, but we can look at it again. Mm. Calls me, she starts crying. Don't want to look at it again. I'm so sad. Hey, hey, uh. I'm like, why are you, are you reacting? There's no verdict. Yeah. She goes, no, but um, they they're yeah. saying they can't give me a new one, but like, but they still might be able to fix it. Yes. But the first time they didn't have, like, but you don't know the verdict yet. Yeah. So how yeah. can you react before the you verdict? You already assume the worst. After 17 minutes and 16 seconds, <laughs> I get a phone call. Oh, they fixed it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you see, you cry, stop the car, you took a nap in your car, you stopped you, the car on the highway, reacting, crying for what? You took a lot out of yourself. For what? Yeah. But yeah, but I'm and I, I, I wanna I wanna repeat. I'm not. I hear what you say. But I think there's practical measures that we should all try to implement to at least live a reasonable life. Yeah, and have more control. But, well, number one, be away. Communicate with yourself. And understand that anything bad that happens that you didn't do is not your fault. Yeah. And if I think if you are patient with you, and I, I'll always scream this because it's one of my biggest drawbacks. Patience with yourself will always be rewarding. There's value in that that I see. That yeah. I can live. Oh, that's all I had to say. Yeah, I get that. <laughs> Listen, all right, guys, cool. Let's so go. Anyway, five, minutes, five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. Let's go. First of all, that, that was a really, that was a really deep conversation. Why are you undressing me? Because you said deep things you guys do at home. <laughs> Uh, guys, I think I think this has been a very enlightening conversation. Nice and long had. as Lucas likes them. Don't ever say that again that in your life. That is so wild. Anyway, <laughs> are, you, are you not confident in your sexuality? No, it's the sexual <laughs> innuendo. Are you not confident in I'm your just saying wild because it, it sounds like an innuendo. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I think everybody's here is very confident with their sexuality. But anyway, that's not even what I'm saying. I'm just trying to seal this thing off. You're closing off. I'm closing off. I have a, something to say. We said when told N S com. Oh yeah. Actually, I'm so mad because we have to finish this thing off because of S twenty minutes before load sharing. Guys, we wanted to be consistent, eh? We're meant to shoot two today. I'm leaving to kick to Devon for like eight days. I'm hoping we can shoot again next week. But now if a video doesn't come out in that week, just know it's Eskom's fault. Yeah, guys, I think Wait. honestly, you guys you guys need to reevaluate a lot. Especially like I'm I'm speaking to you mostly right now and not disregarding everybody else who's outside of this bracket. I'm speaking to people who are taxpayers, people who are actually concerned about where their taxes are going. There is something fundamentally wrong about how we are approaching governance in South Africa. Because how in the world, first of all, are we in this situation? Secondly, that we are still in it, being aware of the problem that we have. Since, since 08, no? Since, oh, since oh, it's been gradually increasing since, since then. Since before some of you were born. Oh, <laughs> damn. You know, you know Cyril, Cyril, even something that I've been seeing with this girl, and Cyril's like, Roche him is gone, we fixed it. Joe, Dave, he's, been, he's been campaigning on that statement for a very long time, but that's not even, I'm just speaking in general. Yeah. That I feel like I'm at a point now, the last protest we did was Fees Must Fall. Well, why? For me, I was about to say, uh, for me, the last protest I was a part of was Fees Must Fall because I understood where was that coming from and it mattered to me personally. And I feel like this is another thing that matters to me personally. Time stand together, huh? Because I feel like it's definitely wherever and whenever there is a moment of action that we are taking against something like this, if you care about this country and you actually want it to be better, be a part of that and don't be we negligent. Should, we should definitely fight 
to a fair tenderizing of putting ESCOM into the private sector somehow. Edu- edu- Open up the market. Competence the and market. adequacy. People also just I, doing I, what they meant to be doing. Don't you think we'll be able to survive even without like, um, like coal like being a source of electricity? Like, bro, we did we take this shit, bro. There's wind, there's all these Edu- things. All I'm saying there's professionals. You're going, you're going you too go, far. There are professionals. There are people who are competent. There are people who... It's we don't even need that yet, ne? There are people... Do, let's privatize. I, 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 apart from... I, 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 I hear, supply. Let... Let people who are meant to have a say, professionals in that department, have an approach on this problem. Have something to do with this. It can't just be us saying, do this, do that, do that. All we need to do is apply pressure so that these things are something that is considered by government to begin with. Thanks. You want to say? Last thing. Yeah, yeah, and I'm, I'm going to try to keep it as short as possible. Ne? Yeah. My thing is the, the certain things that are unacceptable. Constitutionally, and we've had this discussion. Yeah, we've the had this day. discussion too many times. And then I, th- I, th- I think I don't. Before you get to the taxpayer and all those things, I just want to speak on being a citizen. Just generally, this is if if and and I don't want to speak from a place of privilege, but if there's an elected government, be, be, before you get to the signs, the constitution, the laws, and whatever, whatever, there's a few things that I expect from you. I expect people to feel safe where they live. Yes. I expect people to have some kind of shelter. Yes. I expect people to have a stomach safety. that's full of food. Yes. I mentioned the safety second part. Oh, yeah, yeah. I expect people to have clean drinking water. Yes. I expect people to have electricity. I don't want to be in a position where I speak on electricity as a privilege. Fundamental needs. Fun- basic needs. Constitutional needs. Yes. We are at a point, and I, I, I never want to be a negative Nancy. We, no. are, we, are failed. we are past that point. We are failed as a people. Businesses are failing. Right yeah, now, it's so we, hard to operate, dog. Even right, I can't operate. Anymore. You can't. We. So hard. I, I have my normal ninety-five. I have my 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 my, my love project. Your quality podcast. of life is. Yeah. I, I'm incapable of recording this to actually provide opportunity for me and my offspring. Yeah. It's physically limited yeah. by not having electricity, and I think we should. And I I don't know if a voting system is going to help it or not, but I think what I know now for certain is that some things are unacceptable. Yeah. Gotta I cannot accept this loot cheering. It's ridiculous. It's bro. it's crazy. People and are failing. Le- and the elections are next year, ne? Yeah. Yeah. Watch, and watch, watch. Uh, pre-elections, every like load sharing. No, 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 no. My, my, my. Put on hold think, for so there's there's a bigger political discussion. We've had it before. Yeah. My my thing is the people that are in power right now. I am not too confident that they will get because they're obviously not gonna win more. But I am not confident enough to know for certain that even if these people do not get elected fairly, they will accept it. I oh, say your concern my, my is that, yeah. Con, my bigger concern that. right now is that even if we try to change what the problem is right now, mm. we do not have the capacity. The IEC, as much as they will teach you in university or wherever. But I want us to, I, don't be a pessimist because once you, once you, once, once you, me, once you disregard this, the instruments that have been put in place for governance, it becomes it becomes a problem because that faith is what you actually need that's to what be I, hopeful. Yeah, yeah, but, but my, that's that's exactly my concern. You see that faith that I should have. Yeah, <laughs> that niggas have already taken it away from me. <laughs> yeah. It went on the then, lights. <laughs> that's, uh, so when I said late at night because it's low cheering, I think what you said is very important. We you enlightened me there. We have to privatize. I don't know what the first step is, but we I've lost hope. And the people that are supposed to support me. Mm-hmm. I have no opportunity in government. All the money that I'm making right now, I'm making it through the private sector. Yeah. The government might seem that they have helped me with the infrastructure, with the roads and all those things. But right now, when it matters the most, when I need your electricity, you are stealing it away from me. You are taking food out of my stomach. Opportunities. You are taking opportunities. you know how corrupt it is, bro? Like, I want to strap up now. I was watching a video, and I'm not too sure how it solves for it, but it made me go on like a tangent of just searching. Bro, I think we, I don't, I'm sure you guys seen the video. There's two, we had two new coal mines. Yeah, oh, yeah. the Show two big ones. Yeah. Megawatt. Uh, megawatt. I think yeah. it was Mudubi and Yeah, Pusilu. and the thing is that like, it's there, it's all so corrupt, bro. Like, mines are meant to be built close to where the coal is. Yeah. yeah that is very far from each other. Yeah, no, where the because, power is. Because being. of what? <laughs> because of what? Yeah. Someone gets that tender. Yes. Yeah, to transport. For yes. 20 years. Yes. To transport. Yes. Maintenance there is hard. Like there's so, it's, there's so much. Your people, people yeah. have been so focused on self enrichment 
more than they have been on delivering on their primary Greater objective. Yeah. And I know that the ANC's biggest thing is to not expose. They don't yeah. expose. And I was very, I was, I, like I was trying very hard not to mention ANC. ANC. Yeah, no, no, no. no. But I'm, 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 I'm talking about government, regardless of who and where they come yes, from. All governments. Your, Let me not your, say all governments. Your primary objective is what Matladi had mentioned in those points. That is your primary goal. You making a living off of it it's crazy. is a privilege. Also, Chef, I also, I also think like, you know, it's so easy for us to blame the NC. I think this thing is very deep-rooted. Tato, Extremely. Tato, Tato, that, that argument I've heard a few times. Ne? To me, it does not matter. If they have ne? power, they should be able to change it. Huh? <laughs> yes. Yeah. And, and there's, there's, there's a few things fundamentally that upset me a lot. It's one thing to say we have load shedding. It's another thing to say we have load shedding and then we don't have a solution. And we don't know when it's going to stop. <laughs> 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 for the whole year. Yeah. Yeah. Indefinitely. But, indefinitely. That, that, we don't me, know when it's going to end. To, to me, to me, There's to no me. plan. And I saw something on Twitter, bro. They were saying, you know, a lot of people go to, like, they teach English in China and Asian countries. Yeah. They're not, they're not using South Africans anymore because of the load shedding problem. How, how, how are you going to, how, how can I use you if you're unreliable? I don't know if you're gonna have electricity at two. This is such a <laughs> it, it, it has such a snowball effect that I don't think we we can yet comprehend how much of an inconvenience it's going to be for us as a population. You know, as 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 people that live in South Africa. Do you understand how much it's crippling the economy? And when the economy is crippled, right, people's livelihoods are affected. No, businesses are dying. Businesses are dying. Less investment in the yeah. country. Why would less, you invest? Less growth. Yeah. When, when there's less in growth, in with the 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 <laughs> less growth. Why would you invest? They're working forty percent capacity. They don't have power from two to six. Imagine you, you have. Imagine you have these problems. Over and above the fact that unemployment is the Rife. highest. We live as South Africa. You know what's crazy? One of my my one of my research projects is on unemployment. Unemployment is. The, we have the highest unemployment in the world. In the world. And it's not... No, no. We have in the highest the world. inequality in the world. Unem unemployment too. In the world. Guys, something has to be... Out of all the countries Guys, I think, in the I think, world. I think, I think this topic is very sensitive and we can go on and on and on and on and on That's why I, I promise I don't, want, I don't want to be negative. We yeah. don't want to rant. I want, I want to close off on this. But I just yeah, want people... Someone close off, please. I just... Just uh, one line. I just want people to be mindful of yeah. the present, what's happening and how it's going to affect our future. Yeah. Okay. And whatever you do, decide with that in mind. Let me close us off there. It's going to be two minutes. Yeah. One minute. If you feel anxious and scared right now, you should be Ne? If your state cannot provide a basic, can our alarm systems don't work during load shedding? Ne? Huh? Can the alarm systems don't work during? No, nope. oh, that's an, uh, there's, hey, oh, cable, there's too many things. Cables during load shedding. It's a disaster of note. But I, I if, for the sake of finishing off, yeah. ne? if your state cannot provide you electricity, what hope do you have in them to provide everything else? Education failed. So that's what that's that's where that's where I want to close off. We we still have a domestic. Damn, we're becoming the other country that. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I don't want to say that, uh, but <laughs> I I think I think we can never let we that should, happen. At, at, your vote is your power. There's I've, I'm 27. I've never voted, but I'm at a point now, and I, I'm ashamed to admit that. Yeah. But I'm at a point that I feel like I need to do something not only for me but for the people I care about. Yeah. We here sitting on this couch, we're very privileged. We have access to opportunities. Mm -hmm. But think about the electricity. What is not there? Someone's butchery can open. Someone's hair salon can open. They can't make money. If they can't make money and the economy is failing, we are also failing. We will fail. So it's, it's bigger than us. It's way bigger than us. I want to lose a for real now this time. Yeah. Your vote is your power. Yeah. Your vote is your power. And exercise that are calling you. I, I, I still love most of you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, thank you for the opportunity. Thank you for listening. Thank you for sharing ideas. Oh, by the way, thank you for all the DMs that I've actually received. And we're actually having fruitful discussions over the DMs. I will help to the best of my ability. If I can't help you, I'll let you know and I'll try to refer you to someone that can help. I am sorry for our state of our affairs. 2024 is coming. Make sure you have an ID. Make sure you register. And then you do vote. Dango. <laughs> Ray-Bans and Catamarans, baby, give me a light. I'll be living a life. Ray-Bans and Catamarans.